Hello, here's a new segment uh, we're going to do, base politics, and we want to talk some politics, so this is how we're going to do it. We're going to do a little segment mm -hmm. on some current politics, and um, this is Jay Base, and I'm Piero, as you know, and Jay Base has the agenda, so take it away, Jay Base. Okay, thanks, Piero. So today we're going to talk about the second presidential debate. We're Number less two. than a month away from the election when we're either going to have King Trump or the Clinton dynasty taking over. And so uh, we figured we'd get our talking points in, too, because there's yeah. plenty of them going around. So right. why not? Um, right now, I want to talk about uh, Trump's sexist comments. Yeah. I'm pretty upset about him. I think he's a misogynistic pig who has plenty of history with abusing women and putting women down. He's not going to be good for women's rights, I don't believe. And, yeah, I think that just what came out recently with uh, Billy Bush just only completely reinforces everything. Yeah, part of what is, is so ridiculous is that this surprise this is shocking the nation is these poll numbers were dropping in a mm -hmm. weekend poll just in, in a day or two because everybody's heard about it and like they don't know that he talks like this he, he's been going on for years he said things like this on um uh who howard stern and whatnot but i also i wanted to say the one thing and i mentioned this to you before but he's apologized twice he did a video and both times it's like, I'm sorry to the people I offended. I'm sorry to the American people. What about the two individual actual women that yeah, he was talking no, about? It wasn't, I'm sorry They're to individual the people, people I offended. It was, I'm sorry to my family. Oh, that's right. To and my I'm family. sorry to the American people. But he but also did what the about if, the women. He also did he, the if I offended anybody thing. But yeah, what about those two women? Wouldn't that be better to point to show that he even understood they were individuals? Because the whole point is he doesn't mm -hmm. get it and the apology show that. Yeah, it's disgusting. And I could say men don't but all talk like that. since we're ridiculous. talking about uh, off-putting comments, what about Hillary's public versus private conversations? Yeah. Now, that's not really cool because what do you think? Well, I mean, I think that what we find out that she said in private is exactly what I know. You know, that the mm -hmm. banks, you guys are experts in your industry. Of course you should help regulate it. And things like that, we know. The private versus public, I mean, it depends on how different those two positions are. And they're not very different. Right. Uh, she soft sells a little bit different in public, and I'm sure every individual she talks to, you know, you, you argue things from the value system of the people you're talking with, and that's that's actually could be a good thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's bad, but it's it's already the kind of bad that I knew she was. This whole thing about she is too conservative for me, but... She has accomplished things in her career. And if I was her, I'd be telling Trump, yeah, for 30 years, I've been in politics. He acts like she made the government exactly what it is today. And she should be saying, well, 30 years ago, it wasn't that progressive. Right. And I, I've been changing it. So I'm still working on that. Right. Well, and I thought she, she had a pretty good defense with the whole Honest Abe, Lincoln yeah. Uh, well, it was true. The, the, I, I read that excerpt. Good. It was true in the sense that that was the context of her remark. She was talking about how you have to be kind of smart and how you have to be, uh, how you have to strategize. Right. And, you know, well, since we're talking about strategizing and saying one thing and doing another, uh, let's talk about Trump's taxes. Now, I don't think it's fair that we pay more in federal taxes than Trump does. Than a billionaire. Than somebody who's got multiple estates in multiple countries, running multiple international companies and national. Right. It's disgusting. So, so he we, needs to pay up. So we can inspire him to risk his money in businesses where he imports mm -hmm. Polish workers. And I mean, how is this and in my, how does this Chinese worth my metal. tax money? Yeah. Yeah. Screw him. But how okay. is that worth my tax money? It's, it's obviously not. So I think we can probably call a winner since in all these debates the you know the moderators all i know it's a big thing now let's take part in this so terribly i think this is gonna have to be two for superficial thing two for hillary yeah, second one for hillary I, mm -hmm. I can't say i'm biased because i'm also just so sick of hearing that things are tremendous and i can tell you 
right. and, and just stuff made up, you know, like I was against the Iraq war and all of this nonsense. Mm-hmm. So I'm a little biased, but on the other hand, it's not entirely biased. I mean, it's, it's content free stuff. Um, you probably did better than the first one though. Ah, uh, I mean, in terms of public perception. Well, I don't know. He did all that. <sighs> he did and that he was too, yeah. like, all walking around, all look, bullying. He wasn't. He, was, he just, was. He was bullying in the non-confident mode. He bully. seemed really like high. you guys are picking on me three on one. I I think I, you know I'm you, part you of the conspiracy group that he was high. You heard it here. Not here it's for the first true. time. He um oh something just came that we were gonna uh, we were talking about about this um oh, must have been a lie. <laughs> Well, anyways, you guys make up your own decisions about what you thought about the debates, but I'm sure. Yeah, about uh, the debates, but hopefully in, this can. In add the case of Hillary, just vote for Hillary. <laughs> you can decide for yourself on everything else. On all I don't the know. Details. I still haven't decided, but that's for another episode. That's right, Bernie. Your bus will have to discuss later if you can't. Because we're not in a safe I state. I love Bernie. We're in Maine, and I even got to see him the other day, yeah. and it was awesome. He's very passionate. Did you ask him if you should vote for Hillary? No, no, I didn't have a chance to ask him. Should. I don't think I would have asked him that if I could have asked him a question. Yeah, we don't have time to have, to get into the question. We wanted to keep this tight. 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 Enter- First episode. That's right. Number one, man. Base politics. Base <laughs> po- politics. That should be like a theme. We're going to come up with a theme. You, you play a theme in the base. I'll play my base, maybe. Theme, and then we'll have a theme. That would make yeah. total sense. Okay, it's all coming together. Peace. <laughs>